Hey guys, Damien Pace Tutorials here, and I'm here with a Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to make any footage, whether it was recorded on your desktop or your Xbox or your PS3, or recorded with a camcorder. I will show you how to make that footage look like it came out of a surveillance camera. Um, it's pretty basic, um, because, well, I'm teaching you and I'm just a kid, so... Um, anyway, let's begin. First off, you need your footage. Now, because my camcorder, for some reason, um, doesn't want to connect into my, um, connect into my computer, I made this footage, um, on Gary's Mod through my Fraps. Now, first off, instead of left-clicking it and dr just dragging it onto the thing, you want to right-click and drag, and let go. And then here's a little menu that pops up. What you want to do is go to video only and just um, click the first thing, which is add video across time. So there's no sound, just the video. Now let's insert video track. I'm going to guess that's the audio track. Oh, no, I'm messing everything up now. Ah. So insert video track, which is that. So, okay. There, I fixed everything. Um, we're going to need this track for later on, the top one. But anyway, you have your footage right here. Um, so, let's begin. What you want to do is you right-click on your footage, and this huge menu comes up, and you want to click Media Effects. Now, once you click that, this little plug-in chooser box appears. Now to get this effect, um, we're going to have to select three effects. Sony Film Effects, Sony Quick Blur, and Sony TV Simulator. So once you got all those three effects, click OK. Now let's turn off Quick Blur and TV Simulator for a bit, and let's go here. Now, to get that little er, grayscale effect, you want to click Convert to Grayscale. Or if you want in color, but I would prefer grayscale for the um, surveillance camera. Now, enable particles, you want to turn that off, and you want to go to grain and set that up to 0.80. Now, you can either get it exactly to 0.80, or if you can't get it exactly, you press control, and then it slowly moves up each number, so we get there. Now, once you got all that done, you want to go to quick blur. What you want to do is you just drag blend amount and go from zero all the way up to the maximum, which is one. Now, TV simulator. We want to turn this to none. And detail zoom, we can turn this up a bit. Um, extra grill, turn it up just a bit. Now, you can do whatever you want to change it, but I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. Static, you don't want it that high. We can turn it up a bit. Um, the, um, this setting basically just makes it gray scale or original to make it look blue, or just add blue to it. I don't know, but you can do whatever you want. I would just prefer to keep line sync and vertical sync at maximum, because it will surely make it. Unless you really, unless you want to make it look like it's a messed up. VHS tape from like 1980 something then you take that down to zero but I would just keep line sync and vertical sync at maximum interlacing you can do whatever you want with that um, I'll turn it up just a bit and you click X now this is the main footage as you can see it's very choppy um, as you can see because um, surveillance cameras usually record between 1 and 7 FPS, um, so we get that choppy feeling, the grayscale feeling, as you can see a car driving by, it's very choppy. Now, do not mind that, that will not come out in the actual video, I think that's just because I'm running the trial, but anyway, we're not done just yet. You could say you're done right now, but there's still one more thing we can add to make it look like it's actual actually surveillance camera or whatever it just adds a bit more feeling to it what you want to do is you want to go to media generators 
locate it in this little bar thing right here and you want to go to prototype titler and you want to just grab empty and remember when I added that extra video spot or video track that's what this is for because if it was under your actual footage it wouldn't appear so anyway let's begin and if this happens where it wants to go into the background just press control now what you want to do is double click and as you can see there's text in the background right there now let's add something like cam uh, one and we press escape and let's drag this into the corner and let's move this down so you can see it as you can see it says cam 01 in my corner um, because I was playing Gary's Mod and I used um, the map DE Nuke from Counter Strike Source, I'm going to type the map name um, DE Nuke Escape. And we want to drag this into the corner right here. So now it shows what map it's currently on. Let's move this up a bit. Okay. And let's go over here and let's add the time of whatever it is right now. So. Today is 12 16 2012. The time is 8 34 p.m. And if you want, you can add your time zone like Eastern Standard Time or whatever. You don't have to add it, but now if you if you add like the seconds going past it, um, you don't have to change it or it'll just stay frozen the entire length of your thing. So if I said 8.34.06, it would just stay like that the entire thing. Unless you change it to 07 and 08 every second. But there, so in the background, came out 1, DE Nuke, 12.16.2012, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now once you're done with that, escape. Drag this out so it's the length of it on um, the clip. And let's preview our project, shall we? As you can see, the cars in the background and everything are very choppy. Um, you see my person getting out with an assault rifle. He's coming around the building. What he does, he's coming around, and then he murders the Kleiner. Now, you won't really see the Damon Pace Gaming killed Kleiner thing, but yeah. And as I said, you won't see this in the actual video. So, yep. This pretty much concludes the tutorial of how to make any footage that you have look like it was from a surveillance camera. Unless you went really hardcore and actually did get footage from a surveillance camera, you would just edit it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe for more Sony Vegas tutorials, including other tutorials like how to make a Gary's Mob Machinima or Minecraft tutorials like how to get started and stuff like that even though there's pretty much tons of videos. Um, lots of stuff. Mainly just video stuff, but... Yep, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, subscribe, and also check out my other channels. They begin with Damien Pace, and like Damien Pace Gaming, as you saw up there. Damien Pace Gaming, Damien Pace Music, RC, etc. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe for, um, more videos to come in the future with, um... Vegas, Vegas Pro 12, and many others. So, see you guys. Bye.